Hello and welcome back to the channel. Before we get started today, we want to say thank you. We hit 5,000 subscribers yesterday. What an amazing accomplishment. We never thought we'd even get there. We truly appreciate the support we've gotten from all of you guys out there. And in case you didn't know, we're doing a giveaway as we speak. We teamed up with Amp Fishing on Instagram and we have a bunch of cool baits from Sixth Sense, Berkeley, Wu Tungsten, Carl's Amazing Bass, and much more. In order to win, this is what you have to do. You have to follow both channels, Bash Brothers Fishing on Instagram, also Amped Fishing on Instagram as well. Secondly, you need to share the post on Instagram. And for an extra entry into this drawing, subscribe to Bash Brothers Fishing DMV on YouTube. We'll pick the winner on February 28th, so enter to win, guys. Whoever wins this, could be you out there, is gonna be awesome. Last thing I wanna say is stay tuned to the channel. Got a brand new John Boat project coming up. I've already started it. We'll be dropping that content soon on the channel. This is gonna be the lightest build I've ever done. I'm gonna have dry lids from Nate Custom Boats. It's gonna be an all aluminum lightweight build. This boat will be hydro turf, lights, the full nine yards. Subscribe to the channel, be a part of that journey, similar to what you guys did following my build for my boat. What an awesome time that was. We're gonna jump right in and do it all over again. Once again, thank you guys for all the support. Truly appreciate you. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Today, all about doing a new mod. I'm gonna hook her up with some lights, guys. Make her nice and bright and shiny. This isn't something that I did on the original mod. Just didn't feel like I needed it when I built the boat out. But for 2021, one of the goals is to do some night fishing and the lights will definitely help to do that. So the deck lights will allow us to be able to see what we're doing on the boat. Also be able to get some good shots for you guys. So here are the the LED lights I picked up. Got these off of Amazon. I believe these are 16 feet each roll. I did some shopping around. These are not the lights that I used under the deck for the hatches. These are actually a little bit brighter and they cost a little bit more, but I think it's well worth it. They're a lot more heavy duty and I think will last a long time. So I'm excited about that. Got two rolls. I'm going with white. Picked up this dimmer switch right here because I want to be able to dim the lights and not always have them full right on while I'm fishing. So this is a cool addition. It has an on and off feature as well. So I won't have to use the switch panel that's in the boat already. As always guys, I will leave a link in the description box below so you can check out these exact products. So I plan to run lights from the middle of the boat, running along the side to the front. I do the same for this side up to the front, cut it off here and then continue with lights along the two sides of the rear deck. Also plan to put some courtesy lights right under here and light up the cockpit area right here. A tip I got from Anthony Jones's videos, which I did just thinking preemptively I might do it later, which I am today, was I left a lip on the rear deck here. And if you watch his videos, he talked about when you're putting on your rear deck, leave a little lip underneath in case you wanna put some LED lights to light up the cockpit area right here. First thing I need to do is run the wiring for the front deck. So I do have a little opening right here uh, near the front of the boat and it's very small. So I'm gonna try to fish the wire straight through here on both sides. So I'll actually bring the LEDs along the side of the boat with the wire end up front. I'm doing it that way to keep the wires as hidden as possible. Right now I don't have any wires showing and I wanna keep it that way. I'm gonna try to fit two more wires down here. All right, so right now I have my positive and negative leads for my left LED strips. I'm gonna go ahead and put some terminals on them. So here are the terminals I'm gonna use. These are number eight ring terminals. I'm using rings because they're a circle and they don't pop off once you screw them in. And I have some shrink tubing. This isn't the one I normally use. I picked up this from Harbor Freight this morning because the ones I normally get off of Amazon won't get here in time and I didn't want to delay getting this done. These are marine shrink tubing. These have the sealant inside of them. Make sure you put your shrink tubing on first. Get your terminal pushed through until it shows just a little bit sticking out there. You just want to crimp it down just like that. Give it a couple of tugs. Make sure it's on there good. Slide your tubing up. So here you just heat it on there. It'll shrink down. This is what it looks like in the end. You can actually see the sealant. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's sealant oozing out to create a watertight seal. And that actually looks good. The Harbor Freight shrink tubing is holding up well. It looks good and it feels pretty thick too. Not bad. I might be a fan. And again, everything I'm using in this video will be linked in the description below, as always. And the goal is to just have it right in the middle. This butt connector is a heat shrinking one and it seals at the same time. Really good thing to do is to use marine grade everything. 
in the end, that's what you want to see. The solder is completely melted in there. I need to get these wires down the same hole with all of the with the butt connector and shrink tubing on there. And this can be a make or break situation right here. Because the wire could get stuck and I have to start over. I have to cut it from underneath the deck and route it a different way. It's a waste of time and materials. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Oh, there you go. There you go. Get in there. I'm just using my, this is my fishing pliers. Put some electrical tape on there to protect the actual string tubing because I don't want to rip that. Then it loses its integrity and then starts to take in water and my wires get messed up. So I got the positive side down. I'm going to try to get the negative side in. That took way too long. I think I spent about 30 minutes getting those two wires down that little hole but persistency paid off and it's down in there nice and secure. This is gonna be the best case scenario, how I wanna install it on this boat where all the wires will be completely hidden. And that's important to me. I like a nice clean look. So I'm gonna repeat the process for the other side. Good old fishing pliers, never fails. I've never cut LED lights before and I will have to cut these to make it work throughout the boat. It has a scissor mark and it tells you exactly where you can cut the LED lights without damaging them. I'm gonna go ahead and do that because I need this second piece to go on the other side of the boat. You guys, once again, come along for the ride. We're gonna cut these LEDs and I'm gonna try to make this cut as accurate as possible. There we go. I'm in it to win it. So what I'm gonna do now for sanity check is test this light just to make sure it still works. All right, still works. Whew. All right, cool. So we're gonna put this strip on the other side of the boat. So we got all the wires done for the front. That's pushed down. Let's go ahead and attach the LEDs to the actual boat and make our way to the back. So I actually made a mistake in my thinking. Originally, I was thinking that I was gonna connect the two power leads from each of the front left and right deck light to the positive bus bar underneath the deck. And I was gonna run a separate wire from the end of the bus bar just for these, but that doesn't work. It, I don't know what I was thinking. I would not be able to turn on the deck LED lights by themselves on their own independent switch. I already have a switch connected to the power bus, so I can't do that. I would have two switches going to the same bus and that's a bad idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and do what I did for the front nav lights, which was to splice it connect the two leads together to one wire that will go to the switch. I think best case scenario for me is to go ahead and remove the rear deck because it's just gonna be that much easier for me to get the wiring from the rear of the boat to the front where the switch panel is and probably the, the flooring of the rod locker. This is what we're looking at. Deck is off after seven months of running the boat. The framing still looks good, still intact. All the rivets look good. Time to measure up my wires for the rear. And what I'm gonna do is stick it underneath here, same as I did the front. I'll run the wires down this side, underneath here, and run them down behind this plate right here. That'll go down the boat, bottom to the boat. I've got some wires underneath here, I'm gonna just run them along those wires as well to the other side, connect to those wires. All right, got that all done. My wires are extended. Get this measured up, make my cut, place the light, move on to the other side of the boat. So now I'm gonna do the wiring that will go along the rear deck and then connect all the wires together for this strip, that strip, and the strip over here into one lead that will go to the front of the boat. So what I just did is flip the rear deck upside down. I'm gonna measure the distance from this corner right here to the end because this will have an LED strip on it. That way I know exactly how long I need my LED strip to be and then I'll attach it to the deck. Of course, I'll be attaching it to this side because when I flip it over, 
This side will be over there. I'll need to solder my own wires onto this LED strip, which I truly hate soldering. Something that I try to avoid doing because I'm not great at it. I've already used the two ends that had wires already pre-made on it. So I need to make my own connections there. You guys just don't understand how much I don't like soldering it, but very happy to get that part over and done with. So we'll shrink this on here. These LED lights did come with mounting brackets for the lights. And I'm gonna just line this up and mount this right on the lip. I don't know if you guys can see, this is how it looks. It's got one little plastic bracket and the screw that goes in, pins it right against the carpet. I'm not sure if I need to pre-drill the holes. I'm about to find out right now. See how this goes. All right, that worked out pretty good. I don't wanna end up ripping this off by accident or anything, so I'm gonna use quite a bit of these. So far, I've got my connector that will connect to the LED lights that I'm using as courtesy lights on the rear deck. That goes to that. And what I did here was joined up my courtesy light with my rear LED light right here, right here, okay? I've got to connect it up to the wire that runs to the other LED on the other side. So I head over there, connect those two up, and then run it to the front of the boat. I've already moved the sidewalls to the rod locker and removed the decking I had over the middle bench. And that's gonna allow me to access underneath and run the wires. I do have conduit running this boat, but I actually filled the conduit up. I don't have space in there anymore, which is why I'm pulling off panels and such. So I'm literally gonna run the wires along this wall somehow, probably tuck it up underneath. I'll work it out, run it over through here along the conduit pipe and then underneath ultimately going into that area right there where the switch panel is. All right, so I've got my wire coming from the front of the boat. I just need to cut it here, connect it to the wires that are already back here for the rear LED lights and the rear bench. Once I make this connection right here, I'll move back to the front of the boat, make my final connections to the control switch, and I think I'm done. All right, so I got everything buttoned up nice and neat. Everything has wire loom on it, so there's no wires hanging all over the place. This is the latest wire that's going for the LEDs, the rear LED deck lights, all right? So everything is tapped into the existing wire loom up in here, all the way through and then down. So now I'm connecting my rear LED lights to my front into one lead that will go to the switch. And I'm actually gonna fuse this in here so this is just an inline fuse. Open it up, drop your five amp fuse right in there. And I'm doing this because the LEDs will be controlled by its own switch, independent of the other switches that are on the switch panel. I'm not running this to the switch panel where everything else is. This is the same switch that you'd buy from TH Marine, but there's another uh, company who makes it. I'll leave this link in the description below. This one cost, I believe, maybe $15 less than the one that they sell at TH Marine. I'll probably install the dimmer switch, preferably down here out the way, so I'm not bumping into it up top. On the dimmer switch, you have three prongs. One is for power to come in. That's what I've got right here in this hand. This side will connect to the power is run to the fuse box, in the fuse box and out to this lead right here. The other end will connect to right here. Similarly for ground coming out the fuse box and into here with the regular female connector. And then lastly I've got my lead that's coming directly from the LED lights themselves and that's going to go into this side that says two lights. So those are my three wires. I've got them all prepped up. We're almost done. I just need to drill a hole right in here to go through to the other side and push this through, get it all tightened up, make my connections in the back, light it up. All right, that's in, that's done. Looks very neat. I have not turned on the lights yet. I just made my last connection. The boat is a complete mess. I didn't think I was gonna have to pull so much out, but all of those are almost soft plastics. 
it'll just go right back in there. But nonetheless, finally finished. It's in there. I've already turned on the power. Now let's hit the switch and see if all that work has paid off. You guys are here for the first and only first attempt. Let's see. There it is. Oh, excellent. Ah, let's kill a couple lights. This is just the first test. I'm gonna clean up the boat. Oh, you know what? I have to put the deck on. All right, so anyway, <laughs> I forgot the rear deck lights. I'm like, wait, it looks like some lights are missing. All right, I gotta attach the rear deck and connect the lights up for that. I'm super, super excited right now just to see the lights turn on. Man, this is gonna look awesome at night. And what I really love about this is I can dim it. I don't have to have the bright, bright lights in my face. And then if I need to video or take pictures, just crank it all up and it's good to go. There's nothing like putting in a lot of time, a lot of careful thought and a lot of labor into something and when you finally go to hit that switch, it turns on. Time to clean up, get these lights on. This turned out to be an amazing upgrade to the boat. Very happy I did it and very satisfied. Everything is lit up and looks absolutely amazing. The deck lights are extremely bright. Night fishing will be a lot easier. Very happy I did this addition to the boat. This is a huge enhancement. Got a brand new boat build coming to the channel soon. This will be an all aluminum, very lightweight build. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Leave us a like on this video. With all that being said, we appreciate you. Stay safe out there. We'll catch you on the next video.